Someone asked recently what my thoughts were on the National Federation of the Blind, and I'm going to kind of go through that here right now. For those of you who may not know, let's start off with a little bit of history. Back in, I think, either the 50s or 60s, not quite clear when, there was a convention that happened for the National Federation of the Blind. Don't know if that was their actual name at that point, but whatever. There was a group of people who split off from that convention. From what I've been told by others, they literally went to another hotel across the street. They started their own conference. Now they are the American Council of the Blind. So. ACB and NFB used to be one and the same, essentially. There was only one blindness organization. Now there are two. As you guys may know, I am part of the ACB. I've talked a whole lot about it. You can check my channel. I'll leave some relevant videos down in the description and up in the cards throughout this. I personally am not a fan of the NFB. From my experience with them, and I did go to a STEM sort of program with them in 2009. It is now 2024. It was for high school students. It was fun, but there was a lot of sort of like militant rhetoric going on there that I didn't realize at the time. I wasn't a fan of the whole suing thing to get what they want. That made me uncomfortable when I first heard about it when I was in high school. ACB does something called structured negotiations. It's a little bit different. It's kind of like negotiating with the accessibility people or whatever. However, NFB has done a few things that are not so terrible. For example, there's been a class action lawsuit going on with service dog denials in regards to Uber and Lyft. I don't know if it's also Lyft, but I know it's definitely Uber. There is a rally happening at some point, unless it already has happened, at Uber HQ in California. The National Association of Guide Dog Users, which is NFB's guide dog affiliate, are allegedly gathering for this rally outside of Uber to combat ride denials, which is great. There are other organizations such as ACB and other local organizations in California that are sending representatives as well. That's getting a little bit off track here. NFB NFB has a sort of mold that they want you to confine to as a blind person. Again, this is my experience. If you feel something different, please leave in the comments down below. Be nice because we're all just sharing our opinions here. Essentially, when I was at that youth program, I was told that I had to use my cane all the time and that my cane had to be to the bridge of my nose because that is what the NFB people use. I am sighted enough where I can pass for a sighted person. I am low vision. I've talked about this so many times here on this channel. I can get around without a cane. Of course, it depends on the situation. It depends on where I am. I can get around fine without a cane. I personally prefer my cane to go to about my armpit area, which is what I was told to have my cane height at in school by my mobility instructor that I had in school who was teaching me how to travel safely and independently with my cane. I think that the bridge of the nose thing is too much and I don't need to have that wide of an arc when traveling. I don't need to figure out where things are five feet to my left, for example. I'm five foot two. I'm short. Another thing is I prefer my cane to fold. A lot of the NFB canes do not fold. I don't like how they kind of pressure you to not only be a member of the organization, but to confine to all of their ideals for the model blind person. And then on the other flip side of things, they say that we can do anything that a sighted person can. We can't be lifeguards. I completely draw the line at certain things. There was a situation many, many years ago at a camp or something thing that was run by the NFB where a child drowned because there were either no lifeguards on duty or the people tasked with watching the kids were completely blind. I don't really know the full story about it. I think she swam out too far and was outside of boundaries or something. They couldn't locate her. She had trouble. She literally died. On the hands of the NFB, I've heard it from several different sources. I'm just not a fan of them. I don't really like their rhetoric. I have a lot of friends who are involved in NFB and that's fine. I've just heard even from some of the members that they prefer the way that ACB does things, especially when you talk about the national conventions. I met quite a lot of people in Jacksonville this past convention who came from the NFB conference in Orlando because it was like right there and there were not as much of an overlap as there had been in previous years. They said, oh my God, like the ACB thing, like you guys go on tours, like to area attractions, you leave the hotel to go get food or go do whatever, you're out in the community. You're going and doing things out in the community where the conference is. 
is. The NFB convention, they don't do that. This is what several people have told me who've been to the NFB national conventions. They kind of just sit there, they go to sessions and they stay at the hotel and that's about it. If you're not comfortable going out and doing things, please don't do that. Do whatever you feel comfortable doing. But ACB has these structured things that you can go to, especially with the tours to the go-karting and the skydiving that I did, to Kennedy Space Center that a lot of other people did, and other things that we've done in the past that are made safe and accessible for people to be able to do them. I don't know. I don't necessarily hate the NFB. I just don't agree with their philosophy. They have these independent training centers throughout the country. That's another thing. Some of them were recently, within the last couple of years, there were staff members accused of assault. There hasn't really been anything done about that to my understanding. They don't have term limits when it comes to their national leadership. And I've not heard good things about their president. I've had direct information given to me from people who've been in a room with him or had a conversation with him and he's not a great person. The training centers would be a great idea in theory, except I really am a big advocate for teaching to your personal skills. The NFB training centers, you, if you have any form of vision, even light perception, have to wear a sleep shade throughout all of your training. If you are a guide dog user, you are told to not use your guide dog. I don't understand that because NFB allegedly has a very big and active guide dog affiliate and it bothers me because they get a lot of their membership from the people who go to these training centers. If you go to an NFB training center, you have to become an NFB member. You have to go to the national convention. They pay for you to go. It's a whole thing. It's like mandatory fun. If I were to go to an independent living center or if somebody that I know were to go to one of them, I would rather go somewhere that would teach to my level of sight that I have. Same with other people that I know who are low vision. I've heard of people who have some usable vision. Their vision is stable. They tried an NFB center and they left because they were not being taught how to do things to their level. I get leveling the playing field with the sleep shades only if you are losing your vision or if you were born blind or if you lost your sight then that is a great idea. If you're somebody who has low vision and your vision is stable I don't see any reason to use the sleep shade thing. So I've talked about a few different topics here that I've highlighted. This is just my general opinion on the NFB. Again I don't hate them. I just disagree with a lot of the things that they do. I think that some of the things that they do and say out there are very toxic. I, again, have a lot of friends who are involved in the NFB. So you do you, have a great time. If you have any other questions or want me to talk about another like opinionated thing, please leave any information down in the comments below, suggestions, feedback, whatever. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one. Bye.